morning. I hope you're having a great day today. I just wanted to share something inspirational with you talking about the 11 things that I do that make me a strong, competent woman. Today being day number three, I want to talk about how I don't make excuses. As a strong woman, I don't let the circumstances of my life dictate my next move. I know that excuses can only stop me from achieving the results that I desire. I have two examples of this. I used to, when I would want to work out, I would rely on other people to want to work out with me, to push me. And when these other people didn't want to work out, now I'm not going to the gym and I'm not pushing myself and achieving the goals that I want to. So now that I know working out's for me and it makes me feel good, I can reach my goals because I'm doing it for myself, not relying on anybody else. Uh, another example that I thought of is growing up, I was always told I wasn't like the best reader or I wasn't good at like my spelling words. I was told that I was like stupid. I was told I was going to fail uh, eighth grade and be in middle school with my sister. Um, I wasn't going to make it to high school. Like all this stuff that like really put me down. And for the longest time, I let it affect me in my adult life. Um, I didn't like to read. It wasn't for me. Uh, I was always saying, oh, you know, I'm a math girl or I'm a hands-on girl. Like I'm an on-hands learner. I don't like to read, you know, it makes me feel stupid. So I just don't. And then I was in Thailand for, you know, two and a half, almost three months. And when you're over there that long, it's not like you can do an adventure every day. So I was sitting on the beach one day and I realized I was like, God, I'm like kind of bored. I can only listen to so much music it kills your phone. I was like, well, let me start reading, I guess. So I went to the bookstore and I found a book and I started to read it and it was so good. Paige Turner. And then when I got back from uh, Thailand, I didn't stop. I was like, I like this momentum that I have, so let's keep it up. So I went to the bookstore and I was like, I got to find like something interesting. And that's when I discovered at Books A Million, the self-development section. And I was like, wait, what is this? And I found this one book and it was like, 52 ways to live a kick-ass life. And I was like, well, I wanna live a kick-ass life, so let's read this. And I started reading it and it just didn't stop from there. So now, because I changed my way of thinking and the outside sources of me tell them telling me that like, I wasn't good enough or I was stupid, I don't let that affect me. I'm very smart. I read books. I want to learn. I want to develop. I want to be the best person that I can be. So could I still be on that train of, you know, not wanting to read because, oh, I'm dyslexic or I was never good at reading, so I don't need to do it. No, I changed that for me because I'm becoming my best self. So don't let the outside world tell you who you are or what you should be doing. You know what you want to do. Don't let things around you affect what your next move is. So I hope that this has been some inspiration and I will see you tomorrow for day four. See you guys.